Okay, guys, we're going to start by making up our super delicious sauce, starting with a quarter cup of soy sauce. Now, I'm using low sodium, but you can use the soy sauce of your choice. Follow this with another quarter cup of pineapple juice because it is pineapple pork chops. A couple of tablespoons of plain old water or H2O. A tablespoon of ketchup. Two teaspoons of brown sugar to sweeten up our lives. And if you want it sweeter, go ahead and add more. Two teaspoons of minced garlic and two teaspoons of ginger. A little drizzle of sesame oil. Totally optional, but I like it. Next up, I like to throw in a few hot pepper flakes just for some heat. And last but not least, about a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Then go ahead and grab up your handy dandy spoon and mix everything together until it is nicely combined. And this, my friends, pretty much concludes our marinade. After that, grab up a couple of good sized pork chops. Now, I'm using butterfly chops here, but you know, you can use bone in too. Totally up to you. And what I do is put them in a sealable container and seal it up. Then just kind of flip and flop and splash them around, turn them upside down and all that wonderful stuff. Now, we're going to leave these marinate for about half an hour or so, but you know, you can do it overnight too. And it's interesting because somebody already knows there's pork chops on the go coming soon, Coco. Alrighty then, I've got my grill fired up and I'm using an indoor grill. You can do them outside on a barbecue or even use a frying pan. So I'm going to put those pork chops on and just look at that grill sizzle. And we are going to go ahead and cook these up until they got a nice sear on the one side. And by the way, guys, we are in the new place and I'm ready to barbecue. And some new videos in the new place coming up next week. So beside those pork chops, throw on a few pineapple rings and cook them up and let them sear beautifully on that grill. Okay, they are nicely done on that one side. Just flip them over and oh, oh, don't they look good? Look at those grill marks. And like I say, you know, if you, if you don't have a grill, go ahead and do them in a pan. They're just as good. So after a few minutes on the other side, they are basically done and along with those pineapple rings. I just press down with the tongs and I can tell they are done. So we're just going to pull them off. Put them on a plate and let them rest while we deal with the remainder of our sauce. Because we do have some left from the marinade, remember that? So what you want to do is throw the remainder of the sauce into a saucepan. It can be fairly small. And people might say, make a sauce from a marinade that have raw pork chops. Well, the pork chops were raw and they're cooked now and we're going to eat them. In light of that, we're going to throw in half a tablespoon of cornstarch just to thicken things up. And we're going to bring this to a simmer and continue to stir and stir and stir until all of the lumps are gone and everything combines so nicely. And doesn't that look great, guys? What a wonderful, yummy sauce. Alrighty then, guys, our pork chops are all rested with those pineapple slices on the side. And you guessed it, we're going to pour some of that ever so delicious sauce over top of those chops. And isn't this looking fantastic? And I mean, what else can I say but delicious? Of course, we simply have to garnish our pineapple pork chops up with some green onions just to add a little bit more flavor and make it even more delicious. And there it be, my friends, our pineapple pork chop. So easy, so yummy, and ever so pleasing. Believe me, your family and friends will just go wild. So go ahead and make these up. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And if you're so inclined, give us a like because that really does help us out. And most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.